Tesla's private journals, which were unsealed after his death, included many references to the numbers 3, 6 and 9. He would often work on problems for extended periods and during these sessions he would jot down 3, 6 and 9 as a reminder to himself to take a break. It has been speculated that the numbers 3, 6 and 9 had a hidden meaning for Tesla and that he used it to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Some experts believe that the numbers are linked to the Fibonacci sequence, while others believe they are a code for a secret project that Tesla was working on. Whether or not the numbers had a hidden meaning for Tesla, one thing is certain, they continue to fascinate people to this day. We have been left with the technique of counting and measuring and dividing a unit by 12 appears to be the basic rule that humanity has embraced. Here are some of the ways that find 12 to be an essential number. 12 months of the year, 12 hours of a clock, 12 inches to the foot, 12 apostles of Christ, 12 constellations of the zodiac, 12 tribes of Israel, 12 knights of the round table. And there is more. 440 hertz divided by 12 equals 36.66666666666667. So what happens if you split A equals 432 hertz, also known as Verdi's A, by 12? 432 hertz divided by 12 equals 36. 432 hertz is thought to be sacred geometry, and 440 hertz is the closest one can get to the genuine thing while still being an imposter. 432 hertz divided by 12 equals 36. 36? 3 plus 6 equals 9. 432 hertz equals 369. They are two ways of expressing the same thing. The real thing. 432 hertz divided by 12 equals a perfect 36. Why 432 hertz? The American Standards Association proposed tuning the A above middle C to 440 hertz in 1936. This pitch was adopted as the international concert pitch. If one should desire to know whether a kingdom is well governed, if its morals are good or bad, the quality of its music will furnish the answer. Confucius. How can we inform the rest of the world that the international concert pitch needs to be reset to A equaling 432 hertz? A at 432 hertz, also known as Verdi's A, is a mathematically compatible alternative tuning because it is a pure tone of math inherent to nature. Music based on 432 hertz delivers good healing energy. According to one account, the shift from 432 hertz to 440 hertz was ordered by Nazi propaganda chief Joseph Goebbels. Joseph Goebbels utilized it to control people's thoughts and feelings and to make them prisoners of a specific mindset. Then, in about 1940, the United States introduced 440 Hz worldwide and it eventually became the ISO 16 standard in 1953. What is 440 Hz? 440 Hz is the artificial standard tuning frequency removed from the symmetry of sacred vibrations and overtones which has waged wars on Western man's subconscious mind. In the paper Musical Cult Control, Dr. Leonard Horowitz writes, the music industry features this imposed frequency that is herding populations into greater aggression, psychosocial agitation and emotional distress predisposing people to physical illness. Walk down the street and take a look around. What do you notice? What do school children, young adults on their way to work, a woman pushing her baby in a pram and a man strolling his dog have in common? MP3 iPlayers and iPods, isn't this brilliant? If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Nikola Tesla. TPTB has succeeded in decreasing the vibrations of the youthful generation and the rest of us. These harmful frequencies instruct the mind to think in ways that cause disruption, conflict and divisiveness. Furthermore, they stimulate the body's 
regulating organ, the brain, into disharmonious resonance, resulting in disease and war. This is the most perplexing mystery. The universal truth was inaccessible to the people of this planetary system for almost 25,000 years. It is now finally reaching this planet. Deep seekers of the truth that are open-minded and ready will receive it. Numerous indications and suggestions about geometry and frequency have glared at us, beckoning and waiting for us to fit them together like pieces of a gigantic jigsaw throughout history. This sonic geometric riddle is finally reaching completion at the beginning of a new age, showing the building pieces of a language based on energy, frequency and form. How will we use it? The numerical coincidences are too strong. Humanity has respected numerous sequences worldwide for thousands of years. 108, 144, 360, 432, 1080, 2160. But why is this so? What about these numbers and other numbers that strike a deep chord causing us to incorporate them into our mythology and spiritual beliefs? Frequency harmonics could be the answer. We measure sound frequencies in vibration cycles per second, and the above figures mimic the exact harmonic patterns seen in nature when played as frequencies. The problem is that the second timekeeping unit did not exist until relatively recently, so how could our forefathers have known about these harmonies? This is where the enigma deepens. The 60 based mathematical system that led to the invention of the second is not only thousands of years old, but it was also allegedly gifted to humanity by heavenly visitors who came from the skies, the Anunnaki. The precise ASCII code, which was drawn at Porino, goes as follows, reading clockwise around its large seven-pointed star. The Anunnaki are communicating sacred knowledge through encoded crop circles. Cosmic harmonious frequencies relating to the 432 Hertz frequency and its importance in the creation of physical reality from light and sound. How did the Anunnaki store the 432 Hertz frequency into time itself? Within 1% accuracy, the speed of light is 432 squared. Is our number and timekeeping system based on 432 hertz, 9 mathematics? How many seconds are there in a day? 43,200. Do you want to divide or multiply a full unit by 12? So 60 seconds multiplied by 12 is 43,200 seconds. Go over the octaves of A equals 432. To get to the octave of any given frequency, simply double the frequency. 27 Hz higher octave is 54 Hz, 27 Hz plus 27 Hz. 54 Hz plus 54 Hz equals 108 Hz. 108 Hz plus 108 Hz equals 216 Hz. 216 Hz plus 216 Hz equals 432 Hz. So remember the numbers. 27. 4 octaves below A, 432 Hz, 2 plus 7 equals 9. 54. 3 octaves below A, 432 Hz, 5 plus 4 equals 9. 108. 2 octaves below A, 432 Hz, 1 plus 8 equals 9. 216. 1 octave below A, 432 Hz, 2 plus 1 plus 6 equals 9. Multiplying whole numbers 36 through 55 by 12 encodes 432 Hz, 444 Hz, 528 Hz, and 660 Hz. 36 multiplied by 12 equals 432. 36.666 times 12 equals 440. Interesting, huh? They're all super related to one another. They're perfect musical overtones of one another. All frequencies are related to being tuned to 432 hertz. 1 times 12 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 times 12 equals 24. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 3 times 12 equals 36. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 
4 times 12 equals 48. 4 plus 8 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 5 multiplied by 12 equals 60. 6 plus 0 equals 6. 6 times 12 equals 72. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Our number system is all 369 repeating forever. Is it feasible that we have been directed in the process of developing this new type of communication for thousands of years? And if so, what kind of knowledge will we gain from it that cannot be represented in any other way? The underlying primary psychic reality is so inconceivably complex that it can be grasped only at the farthest reach of intuition and then, but very dimly. That is why it needs symbols. Carl Jung. 432 Hz is a light frequency harmonic that speaks or resonates directly with our cells. All cells communicate with one another by infrared light, thus they are overjoyed when they hear music at 432 Hz. The conscious mind may be aware of this. But most of what occurs in our bodies is subconscious. 432 Hz can be called a mild harmonic, the transfer of periodic movements between neighboring colliding atoms or molecules is characterized as sound in air.